So let's get into some real strategies here. And these strategies can be used for uh, both students and teachers. These are really meant for you. I mean, that's what this workshop or this webinar is all about. But every single one of these strategies could be taught to your students. And I think you would be really surprised by how receptive they are of it. Um, they welcome these strategies. And if it's presented in a way that's where you're inviting them to do something rather than forcing them to do something, they, if they're having a hard time, they'll welcome any solutions that you have for them, okay? So consider using them on your, on your students as well. Um, and just the, the golden rule is that your instinct, literally your instinct is going to be to react right away when something happens, but you have to retrain yourself to wait to just wait a second, calm yourself down, and I'm gonna teach you how, and you will see the answer. You will know exactly what to do, and the answer will come to you. And it's gonna come from you, but you have to be in that calm state of mind. All right, so there's four strategies. One, and they go from um, short and simple to a little bit more complex, but they're all actually pretty simple. So, I explained this before, but one strategy that you can use, and these are all strategies that you can use in the moment in your classroom, when you're feeling like your fight or flight or freeze response is starting to kick in. The number one thing I can say is just wait, wait a second and breathe. Most of the time it's not an emergency. I know I stressed this before. I won't stress it too much anymore. Very, very simple. Something happens, you feel like you're gonna lose it. Do these two things, straighten up your body, so that you're a little bit more mindful and intentional about your posture. Imagine that there's a string at the top of your head that's pulling you towards the ceiling. Just straighten up for a second. I'm making it sound more complicated than it is. And just take a few deep breaths. Okay, I know that this is really simple. Again, I'm going from simple to complex. Take maybe three deep breaths. And just, you would be shocked at how different you feel, okay? So straighten up, take three big, deep anchor breaths like this. I didn't even need three. And then stop, reassess the situation. You can do this even if you are arguing with a family member or a loved one and you would be amazed at how much differently you think afterwards, okay? So that is just super simple. If you wanna make it a little bit, if you need a little something extra, you can count when you're breathing, and that actually gives your, your breathing some direction if you're really, really feeling flustered. So one way to do that is by breathing in for five and going in your head, one, two, three, four, five, at the top of your breath, when you release, five, four, three, two, one. So counting forwards when you're breathing in and backwards when you're breathing out, it helps to give your mind some direction. So strategy number one, we're gonna try it together. Just straighten yourself up, square your shoulders, pull your head up so that it's straight on your spine. And we're just gonna take three breaths together, okay? And when we breathe in, we're gonna count, I will count for you. We're gonna count forward and then backwards when we're breathing out, okay? So ready? Breathing in for one, two, three, four, five, and out for five, four, three, two, one. And then again, in for one, two, three, four, five, and then out for five, four, three, two, one. Now the last one you can do on your own, just inside your head. Okay, don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> <laughs> 